Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel rvccis.info, where faculty representatives from Rock Valley College's Computers and Information Systems Department talks to you, our community at large, about things roughly having to do with computers and information systems. Howdy, everybody. Joining me, as always, is Stephanie Washer. Hi. I'm Eric Wolf, and today we'll be talking about certificates versus associates versus bachelor's degrees. One of the things that we always hear is you know which one of these is worth more than the other yeah like what do i have to take how much education do i need to get a job basically how fast mm -hmm. can i get a job in in computer science so I, i'm gonna say it depends on what you want to do isn't that the most educationally centered answer we can give it depends i, I, was, I feel horrible every time i say it but um I like because I'm more on the cybersecurity networking end of things. And so that's generally more of the associates or certificate side mm -hmm. versus the programming, which might be more depending on what you want to do bachelor's side of things. Yeah, I would say that is absolutely the historical way to think about that. But I would say, especially for our students who are hesitant to or any student out there who's hesitant to want to make the investment for a bachelor's degree. Now is the right time to say, and yep. don't make the investment in a bachelor's degree. Major, major old stodgy companies think things like IBM and Microsoft are coming around to the idea that somebody with a certificate and somebody with an associate's degree, and especially somebody with both, mm -hmm. is already in possession of the skills they need, has demonstrated that they are, you know, capable of, you know, especially in the case of a certificate where you have to, you know, pass like uh, a certificate exam, mm -hmm. you've already got the, the skills that you need. And so maybe you don't have a literature course or three, maybe you don't have, you know, the history of Western civilization, but Microsoft doesn't care. Like IBM doesn't need to know that, you know, the difference between like iambic pentameter, which I still don't know what it is. And, you know, a, a switch because they need you to know what a switch is. So, you know, in you come where they used to say, no, this job requires a bachelor's degree. They're saying this job now requires a certificate with knowledge as opposed to, you know, stuff you're maybe for them never going to use. Yeah. Yep. I, I think so. And I think that's changing much more so now that there are a lot of jobs that are going unfilled. I yeah. mean, there is such a thing as the IT skills shortage, or even worse, the cybersecurity skills shortage or workforce right. shortage. So um, I think it's just going to, you know, be kind of going towards um, two-year degree. The The yeah. big thing is, is employers are still saying that they want soft skills, but, yes. you know, when you do group work in classes and all that, you add the soft skills in with, in mm -hmm. with your projects. It is very helpful. So... So the certificate can be one of the more challenging ones to find a job with, just a certificate alone, like out of high school without any experience. Right, for sure that's the case, yeah. That would be the most challenging to get a position, but <clears throat> it's, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not unheard of, for sure. Right, right. Especially, so, you know, if you're in IT doing something like, you know, support, um, mm -hmm. especially level one support, that is a certificate now. Mm -hmm. um, and that can get you in the door. Mm -hmm. And we have um, a couple of students that recently got um, level one tech jobs at mm -hmm. a local company and they are doing very well. And, and so and they have their Associate of Applied Science in mm -hmm. cybersecurity, I believe is what their degree was in. And, and that, was, that was no problem for them. I've had a student that had a actual uh, philosophy degree and get a certificate and now he's working at a school district in mm -hmm. it and has worked his way up so it just depends on your situation and your experience yeah what you need yeah and you know the 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 big uh, deciding factor should really be what is your time frame for wanting to find a job the faster you need the job 
you know, go look for that certificate. Cause oftentimes that can just be a couple of classes and that'll get you in the door. Uh, if you have two years before you need a job, you know, you're looking at an associate's degree because you can do the associates plus certificates in that amount of time and be highly, highly, you know, skilled um, by the time you're done with that. Yeah, yeah. And some certificates take longer than others. Uh, we have kind of a, <clears throat> we have our Cisco. So for example, I'll just use this, there are stackable certificates where we have our Cisco networking certificates. And then we have our Cisco security certificates. And you have to take the first set of classes before you take the second. And so we're trying to remedy that with with updating our our security offerings, but you know you have to think about that too. Is sometimes some of them are a little bit higher level depending mm -hmm. on the certificate that you're looking for. But we've had students that get a job based on the Cisco networking certificate, and then they just keep taking classes. Um, right. If a person just takes a class one you know one class in the fall and one in the spring, it it adds up over time. It's better than not taking any classes. You know right. Yeah. If, you, if you can't find the time, but, and a lot of our students go to UPS and work at UPS or other places like that and work, work there and they'll pay for college. Right. And, and they'll pay for college, which, you know, helps. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. so I feel like we have verbally <laughs> defecated a little bit on a bachelor's degree here. Uh, certainly both of us have bachelor's degrees. Um, yeah. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, certainly if you mm -hmm. are, you know, one of our students or if you are looking to be a student or if you are a student from someplace else um, and you are in that like high school pipeline, mm -hmm. you should think about getting a bachelor's degree, not just because, you know, life will still be out there for you after four years as opposed to two, um, mm -hmm. which is great too. But, you know, you'll you'll have more time to get more broad skills which mm -hmm. does help you know uh like rock valley for example we have partnerships with rockford u and we have partnerships with niu and you know it it makes for a really smooth transition from a two-year to a four-year degree um four-year degrees are certainly certainly still the yardstick by which most companies are gonna you know, evaluate uh, a candidate. So if you are, you know, really looking at a long-term investment there, or if you know that you are going to an industry that says, look, the minimum bar here is a bachelor's degree. Well, in that case, the minimum bar there is the bachelor's degree. Yeah. You also want to look at how much the education is going to cost because you don't want to, mm -hmm. you know, get a bunch of student loans and then come out of, come out of a bachelor's degree with a lot of debt, debt and then yeah. make like nothing a year. So you just want to make sure um, a friend of mine, her her daughter's roommate went to UConn and had all this debt and she ended up becoming a barista because she couldn't find a job. So it just was just something to think about. So, you know, you can come to Rock Valley, like Eric was saying, Rock Valley first and then go on to like Rockford U or um, NIU or University of Illinois. Else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, UW. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, the, the one thing I will say though, is like, and just this week I had two students who, who were killing themselves to get into, you know, what they thought was going to be the college mm -hmm. that was going to get them. Yeah. And I didn't have the heart to tell one of them, like, I've never heard of your college before. <laughs> uh, and it was a small private mm -hmm. institution looking online. They had a very nice website. They had a very nice program. I'm sure they had very nice instructors, mm -hmm. but I'd never heard of college before. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I, I don't know if there's a lot of name recognition out there that really makes it worth a, a ton of money. So like, I'm still paying off, you know, my student loans and I haven't I haven't taken out a student loan since 2005. So that's, that's yeah. forever ago, 17 years, I think now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it sucks. So if you mm -hmm. can get away with doing it cheaper, that would be my suggestion too. Yes, yes. And, <clears throat> you know, I had this conversation with two of my friends because the, their kids are going on to college and, and she had to have a conversation with her one of them had to have a conversation with her kid about you know um 
maybe this school isn't necessarily the one that you're going to get into and 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 we all went to niu you know all mm -hmm. of us went to niu and i looked at my friend and i'm like so you know do you think yourself as unsuccessful because we all went to niu and we're all doing just fine like yeah. it, it's not you know it's all a perception thing and and mm -hmm. i just it, it's really hard to to get some people out of it and if you have a, a scholarship to go yeah great but you yeah. know you want to make sure you don't accumulate too much debt because once you get out man it takes forever. yeah they they start coming for you i i've told the story a lot of times like when i bought this house literally the day we moved in i opened i was just goofing around and i opened the the mailbox and there was my <laughs> my student loan was congratulations on the new house. Don't forget, we'll be here on the first of the month asking for that mm -hmm. money back. It was like, that's, that is insane. Yes. Well, and they will go through any relative to find you because my mm -hmm. brother had a student loan and he must not have been paying on it because I was getting information and phone calls from Sally May. And I'm like, what yep. is going on? So, so yep. yeah. And Sally's coming for her money. Mm -hmm. Like there's no way out of that. So yeah. yeah. So. And again, not to disparage the in, in no way, shape or form, although we just did it verbally again, like it's I mean, we did, but you is. just want to be careful, you know? Yeah, yeah. And we are and kind of biased because we do teach for a community. Clearly, college. I mean, just because <laughs> we, yeah, run an outstanding program with outstanding instructors <laughs> at an outstanding school, those things aside. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, you, you really should be careful. I wish I'd have been more careful with like how I was spending that money because I mm -hmm. maybe have chosen a different school even or yeah, I probably would major have... with more, you know, scholarship availability or whatever. Yeah, I know. It's so hard though when you get out of school and you don't know, you know, what are you, you know, what are you going to do? That's why my yeah. bachelor's is in business management because I didn't know I was going to go mm -hmm. into IT. So it's, it's just really hard to, to know what your focus is going to be so right yeah. yeah and sometimes that's what the best part of a four-year degree is mm -hmm. is to actually figure it out or yeah to know that you need to figure it out because it makes some great friends in the process and yeah it's a four-year <laughs> social experiment and again we just <laughs> yeah. sound like we are doing such a bad job of <laughs> getting really bachelor's degrees are okay and especially if you're going to go you know so many industries say that our minimum requirement is a bachelor's degree, like the insurance industry. It sounds super boring to a lot of people in the beginning, but mm -hmm. it is ultra stable income. It has a really yeah. great track record of educating its employees mm -hmm. up into better positions. And all of those things are true. So if you get a math degree, insurance, if you get a science degree, insurance, yeah. if you get a marketing degree or 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 a history degree insurance mm -hmm. um but know that the minimum bar is a bachelor's degree so if you look at it as an investment in that kind of a job opportunity you know there it is yeah yeah and no degree is really bad or good it's just in what you want to do and i had mm -hmm. a student for the longest time that he wanted to make six figures this is from a, he i've had him for a while and he got his associates but he didn't want to go on to school which that's fine you don't have to go on to school but you might want to know that you might not make six figures with an associate's degree yeah, so especially I mean, not right now no but guess what i'm pretty positive he made it now this last mm -hmm. year i think he finally bumped up and so i mean it's not impossible to do some of these things right. it's just a little bit you have to have a little more hard work and determination in some of it but so you know right now is a good time to kind of to play around and see what you want to do in mm -hmm. cybersecurity and networking yeah an associate's degree you can jump right into the job and then if you wanted to get your bachelor's then you can take some night classes and move on or online classes which you should know online classes are definitely a lot more work at home mm -hmm. versus when you go into class, you get a lot of classwork done in the classroom. So right. uh, that's what our students tend to have that problem too. So it's just depends on what you want to do. Um, every degree has its purpose and, and place. And you can find a job. Some just take longer than others to find a job. Yep. Exactly. So there you go. Uh, I think... Uh, a, a hearty endorsement of all three, quite frankly, I'm going to get a certificate over the the next 
semester here. So, I mean, like yeah. I have a master's degree. So it, every one of those has their position in what your career is going to, you know, be shaped mm -hmm. like. You just have to go out there and get it. So let us know in the comments down below what kind of certificates, what kind of associates, what kind of bachelor's or even master's degrees uh, it is that you are chasing or some of the schools even that you are chasing them at while you're down there you can also follow us on social media we are at rvccis info on facebook on twitter on anchor.fm and here on youtube i should also mention to hit the like and subscribe uh, and hit the bell to be notified of any and all content as it becomes available because i forgot that on our last episode uh, so there you have it the great versus battles of our time, uh, 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 certificate versus associates versus bachelor's degree. So on behalf of Stephanie Washer getting a doctorate, myself getting another certificate, uh, and the rest of the Rock Valley College community, stay safe and stay sane out there, everybody.